Well, good morning and welcome to the lush and tropical island of Maui, where we are going to be bringing you a small mini series of three videos starting this week. Today, we're going to do one of Maui's top tourist attractions. We're at mile zero of the highway to Hana. Let's do it. We no longer have a truck or a trailer. We've got a little SUV. The road to Hana is narrow and very, very windy. So if you do suffer from motion sickness, definitely come prepared. Uh, ginger chews, gravel, whatever you need. There is also no cell phone signal. So download your maps with all of your pins of all the stops you want to make beforehand so that you're prepared. Also note, there is often road work, so you might have to factor in some construction waiting time. All right, so our first stop is Auntie Sandy's Banana Bread. We passed a lot of different stops to get here. We're just a little bit almost at halfway to Hana. The reason for that is because we're gonna go all the way to the end today and then work our way back. But they sell out a banana bread here really, really fast. So we wanted to stop here to get our breakfast. So we got the banana bread. I have to say it's heavy and it's still warm like from the oven. I can smell it through the plastic wrap. It smells so good. We got here at perfect time. We were the first ones here and within seconds of showing up, there's a lineup now. So <laughs> we are definitely uh, ahead of the curb right now. Oh, it's fresh, hot banana bread. Look at that. I love breakfast of champions. Oh man, that is a really good breakfast. Okay, so our review of Auntie Sandy's banana bread, I give it thumbs up. Yeah, I really liked it. I normally would want to have like butter or something with banana bread because a lot of banana bread's a bit dry, but this was not dry at all, very moist. Oh yeah, like it was beautiful, but fluffy at the same time. We devoured that whole little loaf in record time. Jay just kept putting out his hand and like doing this. While driving a twisty, windy road, I was just like, oh yeah. So after Hannah, the road gets uh, quite a bit rougher and less defined. I mean, it's still all right, but very bumpy and very skinny, like this section here. Yeah, and there's no real signs. Like before Hannah, they kind of tell you yield to oncoming traffic. By the time you get after Hannah, you just have to know where to yield. We are putting our America the Beautiful Pass to good use again and getting in for free today. Apparently no swimming. All right, we're gonna do the Waimoku Falls Trail. I think it's also called the PPY Trail. It takes you to Waimoku Falls. So we were kind of hoping to go swimming, but there's multiple, multiple warnings right now just because of the rain that they've had to not go in the water because you could get swept away. I don't get to mark my watch because the battery is almost dead and I forgot to bring my charger. Dope. Dope. It's been cloudy all morning, but now we've got some bright Maui sun. Well, I'll tell you, we didn't get here quite as early as we hoped. And this trail is pretty darn busy. But we still got here in decent time, I think, because yes, there are people on the trail, but we're still getting like, you know, some breaks between the people as we pass them. Like now. Like right now, and that's when we can film. <laughs> this bamboo forest is really cool. Yes, and when the wind is blowing, 
the bamboo poles are kind of knocking together a little bit. It really reminds me of the sound of rain on the trailer. So this trail is about 6.4 kilometers long. If you're walking at like a regular kind of walking pace, that'll take you about two hours to do. And there's an 800 foot elevation gain. So be prepared for a little bit of like walking uphill. But so far it's been not too bad actually. If it has been rainy though, definitely you want some shoes with some good tread because some of the rocks, the tree roots definitely, and even a little bit the pathway through the bamboo forest has been a little bit slippery. <laughs> you gotta remind yourself to look up every once in a while. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just seeing the beginning of this massive waterfall. Wow, that's stunning. It pays to come when it's been raining. <laughs> The Waimoku Waterfall is a towering 400 feet tall. Well, we came when we saw it, and now we're on our way back down to check out the pools at the bottom. The reason we chose to do the pools last at the bottom is because that's an easier trail. And so we wanted to do the harder one first and then enjoy ourselves at the bottom. Okay, we have done the difficult falls trail. Now it's time for the easy pools trail. And I can hear the waves of the ocean. And that's it. That was a pretty short one. Now we're on our way back and we've just arrived at Wailua Falls. We're chasing waterfalls today. Wailua Falls is the most photographed waterfall on Maui, cascading down 80 feet into the pool at its base. Look at this. Oh, smells amazing. And look at this view. Okay, now it's time for the real review. Now, if you haven't seen our Lockhart video from Lockhart, Texas, after we went to a restaurant, we would always go into the car and give our real opinion. <laughs> All right, so what did we think? What did we really think of Huli Huli chicken? We got the Huli Huli combo plate, which included two ribs, a uh, quarter chicken, uh, a scoop of rice, macaroni salad, and some regular salad. That cost us uh, $28. We bought one plate to share because from the reviews on Google, a lot of people had commented that it was such a large portion we did not feel that way. <laughs> I think it was like a regular one person size plate. That would be, you know, enough for one person to have lunch. And for me, $28 US, like that's just not great value. I mean, it's not terrible, but no, overall the chicken was pretty good. There was like two small pork ribs also. Those were okay. I had some nice barbecue sauce. All in all, all right, would we go back? I'm not sure. There's other places to check out, which is <laughs> what we're gonna do. And now we're gonna check out the Hamoa Beach. Which is not far from Huli Huli Chicken. Well, it's a nice beach. It's not like the most awesome beach day today, 
but uh, got some nice rolling waves. It's a bit of a protected cove. Looks like and a good surfing beach. Yeah, surfer out there. And a nice sea breeze coming in to kind of cool us off. One of the fun things about doing the road to Hana is you never know what you're going to find. And we just happened to notice a chocolate store and they grow their own chocolate. Mm, I like chocolate. Yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so we got two products. We got some cocoa nibs for baking in the future and then we got a chocolate bar with also cocoa nibs in it. And this was made within the last 48 hours. So let's give it a try. It's extra, extra fresh. Look at that. Mmm. Oh, isn't that pretty? So this is their 72% chocolate. A oh, very nice chocolate. Mmm. Very smooth. Very smooth. And the cocoa nibs give an interesting flavor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like the crunch but it adds like a, like a tang. Mm -hmm. Good. Oven fresh banana bread, coffee, and pizza. Mm. Ooh, this place is busy. So what attracted me to the Hanna Farms market was the wide range of flavors of banana bread that they have. We got the macadamia nut, but they also had one with chocolate chips, one with pineapple, they had a vegan option, and they had their, of course, original. All right, we're here at Coconut Glen's and we got ice cream. We got their original coconut flavor and Lily Koi, which I believe is kind of like a passion fruit, I think, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Yep, that is like passion fruit ice cream and that is amazing. Mm. I'll try the cocoa nut. Mm. Oh wow, that is so refreshing. Mm. All right, we're at our last stop on our road to Hana trip, and we are at Ho'okipa Beach Park. Uh, it's on the North Shore, and we're just finishing the day watching a whole bunch of surfers, and it is so fun. Kind of wish I had my board. That was a really good day. We got in some good hiking. Um, definitely recommend that hike. It was amazing. And yeah, we got to try some fun foods and just enjoy a very windy road. And Mel didn't even get sick. Yes, my stomach must be getting better. Yeah. Yeah, one thing about that road, it's definitely windy and it gets really narrow towards the end. So if you don't have a lot of experience driving roads like that, just take it easy. Or take a tour. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's it from us for this week. We will see you next week on our next Maui adventure. We'll see you then. Bye. See ya. Today we're doing... Nope. Okay, so our review. Now I'm going to put up the windows first so I don't have a lot of road noise actually. Okay, quick. Get a picture of this bird. And oh, there's a cool bird. Oh. Oh, hi. Ho'okipa Beach Park. Ho'okipa. Ho'okipa. 
Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website and sign up for our weekly email blast. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.